Hi, I'm Scott J. Whitman, Chair of the Department, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2023 Celebration of Seniors in the Visual Arts at the Rutgers Preparatory School. The Art Department is proud of the accomplishments in the studio of these seniors, and here are three interesting facts about them regarding art. Number one, more than half of the seniors you're about to see have taken four years of classes in the Rutgers Prep School Visual Art Program. Number two, many have been accepted to top-ranked art colleges, some needing to make a decision between a couple. And number three, all have shown growth, whether it was during a brief year or throughout a robust arc of time. In addition to being the chair of the department, I teach all levels of photography. Dr. Dunnell teaches intermediate art making and high levels of critique and production. Mr. Lid teaches all levels of ceramics. Mr. Lorian teaches all levels of architecture and design. And joining us this year is Ms. Falzon, who's teaching all the drawing classes. Together we comprise the Rutgers Preparatory School Visual Art Department, and we are happy to present a few works from each senior and speak about some of our best memories. I feel incredibly lucky to have had the pleasure of working with Jen this year. She has been a charismatic leader within the studio and each day has shared her contagious positivity and witty sense of humor. Since day one, Jen has never shied away from a challenge. Instead, she will crack a joke and then get to work, consistently pushing herself and her drawing until she is satisfied. In Jen's first project of the year, she demonstrated a clear skill for drawing through her impressively bold contour lines. By the second assignment, she had unknowingly replicated the incredible stylistic qualities of the artist Modigliani in her drawing of a ceramic cat. I was so impressed and was so happy to see that Jen was as well. She even went home and researched Modigliani. Week after week, I found myself amazed and excited by the evolution of Jen's technical abilities. Her unwavering positivity and humor in the studio will be greatly missed next year. Jen, I wish you the best of luck and I hope that you keep on drawing as you continue to share your brightness and your brilliance with the world. I never knew that it was possible to create such rich, dark values from a 2HB pencil until I saw the beautiful artwork made by Lexi Greenberg. Within her very first drawing of the year, it was clear that Lexi had an impressive skill for creating images with high contrast and dramatic lighting. The intensity of her mark was powerful and so full of confidence that I would sometimes wonder whether her lines could even be erased. Fortunately, this was never a concern for Lexi because her remarkable control and careful rendering always resulted in unbelievably clean edges and hatch marks. Throughout the year, Lexi's compositions continued to evolve, however, the drawings themselves consistently popped off the page and demonstrated fearless shadows and inventive compositions. Lexi is an artist who welcomes new challenges, yet she has proven that her creative voice and bold style will always prevail. As a first year student, Kevin handled himself in the studio with poise, maturity, consistency, and an endless supply of determination to improve with each piece. His development and progress were directly elevated by his hard, consistent work, learning through observation and follow through. It was clear from the first week of school how committed and motivated he was to produce work of a certain standard of quality. I know the campus and fields that await him will benefit greatly from his mature, stoic attitude. All the best as you embark on the next phase of your life at Rutgers University. It has been utterly refreshing having a first-year student like Jake. 
His motivation, desire, and sheer contagious, constant positivity made this year and his class better for it. Always willing to go the extra mile, whether it be for his own work or any task brought to his attention. Jake never backed away from a challenge, nor altered his course as a result. Invested, caring, mature, considerate, and creative are the marks of this student, peer, maker, and believer. I wish you all the best as the next part of your life's journey begins. Keep creating throughout your life, Jake. Ben's first year in the studio leaves the mark of a capable, critical thinker, one that engaged and generated many questions which led to discussions that expanded upon introduced information. I know his classmates felt more at ease and became active participants as a result. I will miss his active and curious mind. He finished the year embracing the potter's wheel as a tool for creation, which he immediately showed a natural ability for. I hope you will always allow your future some room for creative expression, Ben. I wish you all the success in the next chapter of your life. Elliot has been with me for the past two years in Architecture and Design 1 and 2-3. He came in with a high level of artistic skill and worked to learn the technical side of things. Once he felt comfortable with this, his work really took large steps forward. I think that his recent design and construction of a dice tower best exemplifies this. He created a fully functioning design and then added his artistic flair to visually enhance his work. The end result speaks for itself. Elliot. It has been a pleasure these past two years. I always enjoyed watching your creative process. I know that you have a tough decision to make between two fantastic schools. Whether you decide USC or RISD, make the most of your time there. Continue to push your ideas and don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. All the best. Jaden has been with me in the studio for two years, which is also the entire time he's been at Rutgers Prep, having transferred in his junior year. He was a great addition to the class and has always been a joy to have. It became a tradition with this class that I would tell a dad joke each time I had them and they would rate whether it was a hit or a miss. For example, what do you call a penguin in the White House? Lost. Jane was always the leader of the class as they groaned at the majority of the jokes. As a designer, Jane continued to grow from the beginning of last year to the end of this year. He started to show comfort expanding his ideas, and his final design for a dice tower was the strongest to date, a fitting send-off. Jaden, it has been a few years coming, but I wish you nothing but the best, both in class and on the court at Marist. Never settle, always push your limits, and best of luck. Your two years in the studio, Pierce, have been fantastic. By your own admission, you came to painting and drawing a bit late, but better late than never. What you've shown over the past two years, well, yeah, makes me wish I had had more time, but that's not to be. You invested in your creative development in a really dynamic and exciting manner. You are willing to put in the time outside of class that brings work to fruition and makes for fabulous results. It's this kind of focus and determination, your willingness to undertake new techniques, dig into concept, and really develop your ideas that is going to allow you great success down at SCAD. I have no doubt that you're going to be brilliant down there. I wish you nothing but the very best as you move forward in the next four years.
As department chair, I looked over the portfolio last summer of this incoming senior. It was clear in the work that this is a cosmopolitan young artist taking risks, making big statements, and breaking rules. The RPS Art Department was happy to place this student in the program at both a high level, critique and production, and with latitude to pursue another craft, Photography One. Dr. Dunnell and I are happy with individual art pieces that Ari has made during her short stay. We wish her well as she pursues studies next year in Amsterdam. Thus, I end with a quote from a photographer based in Amsterdam, Mark Visser. De ware bron van kunst ligt in het atelier van de kunstenaar. Daar waar alles samenkomt in beeld en op doek. Which of course translates to, the true source of the art lies in the studio of the artist, where everything comes together, in image and on canvas. Michael's two years in the studio were marked by an enthusiasm, an eagerness to learn and explore, and a vibrancy that will be much missed. I am really sorry that I only got two years with you, Michael, but those were two very, very good years. You have a creative mind that will take you far, and I have no doubt that Rutgers will be a wonderful place for you to explore your creative thinking no matter what discipline you pursue. You are a consummate creative type. You act, you sing, you make art, you have it all. Take it, run with it, be brilliant, and know that anything that you want to do at Rutgers, you can do. Good luck, go forth and conquer. It has been a joy having Ogis back in the studio after three years away. He showed growth in every aspect of the word. He began the year unsure of himself, concluding it with confidence and control. From the young boy to the current young man he is today, his attitude, appreciation, willingness, and maturity have shined in his efforts and developed ability. It has been wonderful to see him take on the ownership and desire for his individual knowledge and development. I wish you all the best on the next chapter of your life, Ogis. Will Turco is a one-of-a-kind artist who walks into the studio ready to create drawings that are fun, sincere, and true to his interests. The evolution of his technical and creative skill was made evident throughout the year as his work became increasingly ambitious, personal, and meaningful. Initially, Will worked with props from the art studio, taking the time to interpret their shapes, textures, and values with his energetic gestural line work. However, it did not take long for him to pounce on the opportunity to bring his own voice into the subject matter of his artwork. Politics and pop culture began to appear in drawings, even at times interacting with one another and creating a surprising yet remarkably exciting dialogue. Will's commitment to challenging himself and creating personally significant artwork has been inspiring, and I hope that as he moves forward on his journey, he continues to communicate his views visually, as it is clear that he has important things to say. Throughout the art department, Katie Ledin is known for her impressive technical skill, her fearless creative experimentation, and of course, her sense of humor. She is an artist who goes above and beyond in each drawing that she creates. While working on her first project of the year, Katie mentioned that she did not think that she had the patience to create tonal hatch marks. Yet immediately after saying this, and during every class period since, I have watched as Katie proves that she is, in fact, one of the most patient and meticulous artists. She puts time, care, and thought into every aspect of her drawings. This is especially true within her line work, which is so methodically measured and highly rendered. Katie is a star on the basketball court and in the art studio. I truly hope that she continues to express her creative voice as well as her technical ability 
and patient mark making as she thrives at the University of Rhode Island next year. Nahal has been an incredible member of his Ceramics One class this year. He began the year with uncertainty and a lack of confidence in himself that I am happy to say has completely disappeared. He wields confidence and a critical eye for what and how to improve his work. He ended the year commanding his material in ways so far from where he began. I applaud his ability to embrace the concept that the process is more important than the product and how sometimes the way forward is to let go of the past. I know American University will be better for having him on their campus. Rachel always made exemplary work. Her homework always became illustrations of my lesson plans. On top of this solid foundation, Rachel's photography portfolio this year became greater than the sum of its parts. Her work is not only a celebration of the medium itself, but a celebration of what she has to say through her photographs, through her photography. With high energy and spark, her split-second moments recorded in the blink of an eye capture family, friends, nature, beauty, life. She captures, for our extended enjoyment, shard moments and celebrations of life itself. From across the digital divide a couple years ago to long hours bringing a final project to fruition this year, it's been sincerely wonderful seeing the growth, the work, and the art. Reese ended this year in the studio with the highest level of performance and product quality to date. She took on this year with an unwavering work ethic, pushing ideas and directions the whole year through. Her amazing attitude and ability to work through difficulty and frustration is inspiring. Truly a member of her class who led by example and unified through compassion and care. I will miss the humor and conversation shared through the years, but I know that the grounds of Elon will be better from her presence. I wish you the best as the next chapter of your life begins. Sia's future looks very bright knowing what I have had the honor of gleaning over the years. Sia is kind, compassionate, determined, caring, and imaginative. Her work has explored all types of themes, construction types, and final decoration and finishes. Her ability to communicate her ideas and defend her opinions is mature and poised. One of my regrets is that there is not more time to witness more of her imagination becoming materialized. I know the future is going to be in better hands having someone like Sia standing up for what is right, just, and fair. I wish you an amazing next four years and beyond. Gio has taken four years of architecture and design during his time here at Rutgers Prep. This year was a bit different, however, as he completed his last year away from the rest of his classmates because of a scheduling conflict. Always one to finish what he started, this did not deter him and he sat in on another class, but doing the senior level work. While it was different, Gio still came to class ready to work and showed growth throughout the year. During his time in the studio, Gio always brought a creative approach. Precedent from hobbies like car detailing and shoe painting helped push his ideas and explore different approaches to each design. Geo, 
I was so glad when you told me of your acceptance to Lehigh. You are stepping into a top tier engineering program. Make sure to not be discouraged when obstacles come your way, but figure out ways to solve each and make the most of each situation. I do just have one request. Make sure you come and visit and you show me your work. Best of luck. Four years ago, Riley entered the studio as a somewhat hesitant, uncertain artist. Now, four years later, Riley departs as a powerhouse. Riley's four years in the studio were spent exploring concepts, ideas, and techniques, working towards developing a deeper understanding of creativity, the processes by which we create, and really digging into all that there is in making art. This did not go unnoticed. Riley's curiosity led them to explore soldering, not something typically taught in my studio classroom, working with plaster and draped cloth, another item not generally worked with, but really exploring and excited about everything. This is fantastic. I wish you nothing but the best, Riley. Brennan has been an integral part of my class for the past four years. His work throughout the time has been consistent, creative, and thoughtful. He started off quite quietly as a freshman, but continued to find his voice both figuratively and literally during this time. I am proud of how he maneuvered successfully from year to year. Whether in the studio or at home during a pandemic, Brendan found ways to still bring out his creativity. I feel like my favorite project that he did was his design for his initials. Something that was meant to warm the students back up after a summer off, Brendan came in ready to work and pushed his ideas. His final result, as you can see, is a beautiful piece, even if it's just out of cardboard. When I think back to Brendan, my first thoughts will always go right to his weekly creative drawings. Done pretty much every week for the past four years, Brendan has always based his on pants. They are innovative, sometimes functional, but always fun. Brendan, one thing that I will not miss next year is you asking for extra days on projects because you happen to miss a day. I will, however, miss the creativity and drive that you brought to every piece of work. Best of luck to everything you do in the future. Michelle's four years in the studio have been marked by a fierce, focused determination. No detail escapes this artist. She's scintillating in this matter. Her work last fall, combining her Waxman work with cells into the fractal undertaking the class pursued was outstanding. The manner in which she wove the threads through her canvas to create those cellular structures was really dynamic and her use of color, fantastic. This creativity has grown over the past four years and really is a force to be reckoned with. I have no doubt that with Michelle's intellect, and her creativity and her ability to see the bigger picture that she will be quite dynamic as she pursues whatever it is she pursues in college. Chris bounds into the studio every period with a hearty good morning, no matter what time of day. It's pretty fabulous and I am going to miss that exuberance and that enthusiasm. As I think over the past four years and how Chris has really grown as an artist, as an individual, as a creative entity who really digs into concept and puts his all into everything he does, I am impressed with how far he has come from that freshman year. His work is powerful, dynamic, and he doesn't cut corners. He may take a bit longer, but he always gets his ideas out there and in front of everybody to see. Good luck, Chris. Go forth and conquer. Over the past four years, Andy's performance in the studio has been tremendous in several ways. The first being Andy's unyielding ability to see good in any situation, accompanied equally by the joyful attitude he operates with daily. 
Second would be the confidence level brought to his choices, ideas, and the defense of them. I know all Andy's peers will miss his openness and supportive attitude in the years to come. I will certainly miss Andy's ability to change the temperature of a room in moments. I know the courtyards, halls, classrooms of Clemson will feel the same way when Andy arrives at their gates. Quick story about Devin Gary. Each year, at some point and multiple times, he would always tell me that he was not coming back to take my class. It sounded something like this. Mr. Lorian, there is no way that I'm taking this class again next year. Yet he always did and has been in the studio for four years now. Devin is confident in pretty much everything he does, but he had to work at his confidence in my class. Sometimes it took a bit of pushing, and even though he doesn't believe me, he is a designer. A perfect example of this was his work for his coffee table last year. An innovative design that combined a table and a trash bin, it was one of his strongest efforts overall. What started off as one part of the D&D law firm is now an upstanding young adult whom I'm proud to have taught over his high school career. Devin, I'm glad you stuck with me. American University is not going to know what hit them when you storm on a campus this coming fall. Best of luck. Haley is another of my seniors to be with me for the full four years. She has been consistent and thorough her entire time in the studio. Usually, she's the first student to arrive and the last to leave. Haley is one of the hardest working students I have ever taught. This year especially, she has been nothing but motivated and has just crushed her deadlines. Over the past four years, Haley was continually grown as a designer and as her comfort level increased, so did the level and quality of her work. From a coffee table that moved in multiple directions to a working Rube Goldberg machine, Haley always brought 100% to every project. Haley, it's been fun having you in the studio these past four years. I applaud your dedication to the subject and am pleased that you're moving forward with design at the collegiate level. Penn State is a great choice. Make sure to make the most of your time and all the opportunities that are gonna come your way. I look forward to seeing your work and hearing your studio stories. Jesse has been with me in the studio for the past four years. Always prepared, Jesse was a pace setter and leader by example for his class. His work throughout the time at Rutgers Prep was thoughtful and always worked past the minimum asked. Jesse is a charismatic young adult with a creative upside. From day one in the studio, Jesse conducted himself with a poise and maturity beyond his years. He brought his own unique style to each assignment. Never one to shy away from a challenge, he always created memorable work throughout his time in the studio. Whether a twisted octagon or a truck when others were building race cars, Jesse pushed the boundaries and each design had its own flair. One of the best parts of having Jesse in class was the passion he brought and the lively way he went about his designs. Jesse, it's gonna feel different next year without you in the studio, but you are off to bigger and better things. Colgate is going to be an amazing experience. Make sure to continue to strive and go above and beyond. Best of luck. Janie is an exceptionally bright, thoughtful, kind, diligent worker. She has always taken challenges head on, backing down, not in her vocabulary. I have admired her unique approach to developing ideas and projects that often require more steps and effort to achieve the end result. I have enjoyed many conversations throughout the years, especially this year, where your voice really blossomed. I know the classrooms and labs of Rochester will enjoy the addition your caliber brings to the table. I wish you all the success in the next stage of your education. Christopher Edward Bangle, Chief of Design for BMW Group said, 
Cars are the sculptures of our everyday lives. It was pretty clear from the beginning of this year, no, it was pretty clear from the beginning of last year, if not the year before, <laughs> that the central focus of this Photo 5 project would be cars. It's a winning group of photographs, but only half because the photography gear and the use of it is impressive. Aditya's real power is his blend of maturity, personal pursuit, instinct, and desire to bring things he cares about to fruition. As a Rutgers grad myself, I am happy for Aditya that he is pursuing studies next year in such a close radius. I'm sure some Scarlet Knight sports teams are about to look a whole lot better in photographs soon enough. It has been a pleasure watching Julia grow as a designer and young adult over these past four years in the studio. A quiet leader, Julia was always prepared for anything and let her work and actions lead. I am proud of Julia for sticking with architecture and working on improving her skill set each and every year. The Julia that came into my classroom as a freshman and the one that walked out my door as a senior are technically the same person, but also quite different. It all comes down to confidence. It was fun to watch that confidence grow with each year and see her designs come along for the ride. What started off as timid soon pushed past the minimum asked while being thoughtful and creative. Julia, Albright College is getting a truly awesome person. I am certain you will be successful in the classroom and also on the basketball court. Make sure to continue being creative and good luck with all your future endeavors. Ugni has been a part of the architecture and design program for the past four years here at Rutgers Prep. He continually made progress with his work and improved tremendously from his first day in the studio to his last. Ugni was able to navigate any obstacle in his way and find success. I believe that this class was truly beneficial for Ugni, technical enough for him to be comfortable, but artistic enough to push him outside his comfort zone at times. His coffee table design from last year is a wonderful example. It brought function and aesthetics together wonderfully. There is no doubt Agni will go off and do amazing things in college and beyond. My hope is that he will use some of the skills learned throughout his time to find that success. Agni, it has been an absolute pleasure, and whichever school is lucky enough to have your acceptance is getting a true gem. Best of luck, and remember old Mr. Lorian when something you create changes the world. It is always a beautiful thing when a student meets the edge of their potential and begins to create within it and expand upon it. Nicole has been doing just that this year. The works she has developed push every aspect of creativity and construction. Her level of investment, care, and quality are immediately evident when looking at her work. She never settles for good enough, always chasing the ultimate finish of her mind's eye. Bittersweet is seeing her push and push to then have to say goodbye. I know she will impress those at the Penn State Ceramics Club when she arrives for her future studies in the sciences. Wish you the best as you move into the next phase of your life. Ellen's three years in the studio with me have been dynamic, exciting, and powerful. She's got a drive. Wow, Ellen. This year, you've practically lived in the studio outside of class, coming in during, I guess, most of your free periods? Amazing. It's this kind of focus, and the focus that you, you revealed when we were in lockdown and you were in China. Hours away, but still, you attended every class diligently, undertook all of the work in a meaningful, powerful, dynamic way, despite not having any input from the rest of us. It was exciting. What you've done this year was exciting, and I can only wish you the very best as you move on to Parsons. You will be a force to be reckoned with there, 
and I wish you all of the luck in the world. Kira continues to work with an energy and determination unlike any year before. Her abilities have synced with her imagination seamlessly moving from idea to physical material. She has taken the concept of series and sets to a new level of refinement and pace. It is marvelous to see her fluidly express her ideas and imagination confidently, maturely, and sadly with a sense of urgency. It is that tough pill to swallow when a student is performing with such a level at the end of their high school career. I will miss the unyielding support to the studio and myself. I wish you all the success on the tracks, fields, and classrooms that await you. The late great photographer Diane Arbus once said, taking pictures is like tiptoeing into the kitchen late at night and stealing Oreo cookies. Justin's pictures reflect this sentiment. We are invited into his family's restaurant, or rather the kitchen, and we, the viewers, are treated to fine art food photography. Justin's friends were treated to the actual food once the photos were done, I'm told it was easy getting friends to help him. I am so proud of Justin for elevating what could have been a simple collection of mere snapshots into a profound collection of images where he lowered the level of lights and raised the level of interest. Well done, Justin. Well done. Ryan has been a part of my studio for four years and has also completed an independent study focusing more on the computer side of architecture. Always interested in the creative process, it was during his junior year that he really started to think about majoring in a design field in college. A summer course at Cornell really set that into motion. In the studio, Ryan's work has always been graphically strong, but the real growth over the last four years has been in regards to his designs. He systematically looks at a problem and comes up with solutions that are both viable and creative. He brings a level of confidence to his work that not many designers have, let alone those in high school. My favorite example of this, and the first ever A plus I've given on a design project, was this coffee table. Modeled solely out of foam board, the curves and form speaks for themselves. It truly is a masterpiece. Ryan, I know you're going to hit the ground running from day one at Illinois Institute of Technology. I look forward to seeing your future work. Best of luck. James is part of the crew of seniors that has been part of my studio for the past four years. A skilled designer, James has made the most of his time not only in my classroom, but also taking drawing and design this year. From the start of Architecture One, he showed a distinct eye for design. James continually pushed his ideas and was never afraid to try complicated solutions. The end results were thoughtful, well-designed projects. Usually it takes a bit for a designer to find their distinct style, but that was not the case for James. It was apparent from the very beginning which projects were his. Conceptual design is the most important part of design, as it is the creating and exploration of ideas. This is where James strived. His conceptual ideas had thought and variety, and his exploration of each was strong. James, the past four years have been a pleasure. Make sure you continue to bring your thoughtful, creative approach to whatever comes your way. Best of luck in your future adventures. You'll be missed. Maddie's performance through her time in the studio has been stellar. Her imagination and desire to expand and improve her ability continues to this day. She has pushed what she thought was possible, creating things of incredible skill and process. Her ability to communicate her ideas and intentions moved into the realm of confidence and comfort. I am so proud of Maddie's courage and determination to pursue her passion and embrace her future. 
I know Maddie will soar in the studios of SCAD. I will miss your smile, imagination, and confidence. I wish you the best on the next stage of your creative exploration.